So this is an e-bike. This is DYU C3. It's got a 16 inch rim, 7.4 amp hour battery. It gives you about 15 miles. It's got a 350 watt motor. And when you get it, there's not much to put together at all. You just have to put your little uh, foot pegs on and throw on the seat and it is absolutely, it's finished. If you've got an apartment, uh, a boat, if you've got anything small, it absolutely will fit your lifestyle. This thing is absolutely amazing. It has a rack on the back that'll hold up to, I think, uh, 25 pounds and uh, just a great grocery getter. Uh, just, I can't speak enough about it. It's And it's only $5.99, super cheap. So let's put this together. When I say build it, we're just gonna open it up. Let's take it on the road and let's see what it can do. So when you get this, it's pretty much what this is gonna look like right here. You just pick it up. It is not heavy at all. Open this up. I have hurt my back uh, on my last video. I rode my motorcycle from uh, Damascus to Virginia, all on dirt roads. And I've dropped my bike several times. And um, when I lifted it up, I kind of pulled something in my back. So this is, I'm glad this thing's light. So about right there. And come on over here and I'll show you how to start this thing. All right. So when you get it, where it is, you gotta turn it on right here. And then on the side here, you push this. Boom. All right, so it's showing zero. There's your battery. So you push here. That's pedal assist one, pedal assist two, pedal assist three. And that's the highest it goes. If you hold this down, one, two, three, four, five, it turns on your lights. One, two, three, four, five, turns it off. And this brings it on down. It does have brake lights. Um, let me turn this on real quick. One, two, three, four, five, lights are on. Boom. All right, so let's take it for a spin and let's see what it does. All right. Come on. It's got a low clearance. This is definitely a commuter bike. Look how cool this thing is. Isn't it beautiful? Make sure anytime you ride your bike, please wear a helmet. I need y'all to keep watching my videos. I wanna keep y'all safe. So wear a helmet. Get a cool one. Does that look bad? All right, what we're gonna do is test it with pedal assist and uh, just with throttle, the screen ain't really bright, but the sun is like right on it, so that doesn't really. So I'm putting it on pedal assist one, I'm gonna give it a little throttle. Um, it has no gears. So when you're riding it, it does not, there's no shifting. This is just a go-getter, you know what I'm talking about? So. I'm in the, on my driveway, which is dirt. And it's a little bit of a struggle. Let me bump it up to two. I'm not really feeling a difference from one to two, but I'm already at the road now. Uh, so let me bring it down. It is not hydraulic brakes, it's cable brakes. All right, let's see what this thing can do. All right, so we're on pedal assist one. That's zero, so nothing will happen. Let's go pedal assist one. I'm gonna give it a little throttle. All right. So it's a little bit tight. I'm six foot. Um, I mean, it's not terrible. Honestly, I've, I've been in with bigger bikes and had more and less room. So pedal assist one and I'm going 14 miles per hour. Pedal assist two. Not really feeling anything. Pedal assist three. All right, it's kicking in a little bit now. This is a 350 watt motor. All right, so now things are starting to happen. I don't know what was going on before, but now I'm going, this is a flat road. It goes up a hill here. Wish the gearing maybe would have been a little bit, like right now I'm not, I feel like I'm doing anything. You know what I mean? And I'm all over the road. These smaller bikes are a little squirrely. So I'm at 22 miles per hour. Let me turn that down. All right, now I feel like, I feel like it just needed to kick in. 
So I'm at 17 miles per hour. We're going up a hill right now. Let me bump this up. Come on, kick in. Need to raise this seat up a little bit. There we go. I'm feeling a little bit of vibration in the motor trying to pull me up this hill. Golly. Just a lot of um, pedaling and I'm not feeling any resistance at the, on three, which is kind of uncomfortable. The gearing could be a little bit different. I'm on pedal assist three now. Come on. There's my battery. Let me turn on the light real quick. One, two, three, four, five. So that gets darker. It's a little bit slow to respond. I got it on three and now it's just get kicking in. And look at this. I'm, I have zero, can I, whoa, whoa. Do not let go of these, this wheel. It does not rake and trail good at all. All right, so raking trail's not, not really good. And I'm hearing it rub. I wonder what it's rubbing on. I'm hearing the tire rub on something. Anyway, so far, pedal assist one and two feel good pedal says three going 22 miles per hour and this gearing kind of sucks and when i say sucks it's just there's no pressure to it you're just free willing basically but it is getting you to 22 miles per hour on this little tiny bike i've not moved a, a single bar which is pretty cool all right so what we're gonna do is put it down to a zero all right so that's nothing let's see what that does just feel like it's rubbing on something that's 14 miles per hour flat right now this pedal assist two about 19 miles per hour I'm gonna turn this light off so y'all can see hopefully you can see it there we go there's that do not let go of these with the handlebars it is not safe at all all right let's go to pedal assist four again this is a little bit squirrely the short wheelbase and there's no rake and trail the wheel is directly straight down so this can be a little bit sensitive so just be careful but yeah about 22 miles per hour that's crazy <laughs> so let me get this all right cable brakes are not the best it doesn't have very fast stopping power. All right, let's get it. Just throttle. It gives you plenty of room for a small bike, which I'm really impressed with. Uh, like I said, I've had other bikes that are bigger and I had less room. So right now I'm at 24 miles per hour. I don't know if the motor just needs to heat up or why it's acts so slow to reacting. Cause when I go from one to two and two to three, it takes a minute for it to just to kick in and then now you're moving. And I just think that's odd a little bit to me. Uh, but it's just something you just have to get used to. A pedal assist, I'm at pedal assist three right now. I'm feeling some vibration in the, uh, in the motor and I'm flat and I'm just freewheeling. You know what I mean? I'm just, I don't feel any pressure or nothing on three. Now go down to two. I'm feeling the vibration in the motor again. Again, these are just things I'm just talking about. I like this bike. This is nothing wrong with this bike. Just a few odd things that are sticking out. Honestly, I think most people would buy this bike would probably maybe pedal a little bit, but mostly would be throttle. Rough road right now on my house. Super comfortable and I have some bumps. So yeah, brakes suck. I wish they were uh, hydraulic, but for the price, it's uh, stuff that you kind of just deal with. 
but let's talk about it. So who's this bike for? I, I mean, almost anybody. If you're an overlander like myself, uh, if you've got a boat, a small apartment, you're in college, you just need to get around. I've been in like Miami, DC, these bigger uh, Charlotte, they really cater to bikes. And I think this is just a perfect bike for somebody that wants a, a great small commuter bike that don't have super long distance. It doesn't have the best brakes, has a little bit of vibration when you're um, uh, pedaling it. You feel it in the motor, you know, working. Is it hot? No, it's ice cold, good.